Hi, in this video we'll be talking about the cast rule. Cast is a very famous mnemonic that can help us solve certain trigonometric problems. Specifically what it tells us is whether the sine, cosine, and tangent ratios, ratios are positive or negative in the various quadrants. So we'll examine that at first. So let's imagine that we have our Cartesian plane, we'll draw it out here. And I'll label the quadrants here. So we've got first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. Now, if I choose some arbitrary point, let's say in the first quadrant here, then it would have as its uh, x and y coordinates, they'd both be positive. Now, if I think about my definitions of the trig ratios for angles and standard position, I've got my y over r, x over r for cosine, and tangent is y over x. Okay. Now, we know the r is always going to be positive because uh, it's a length. Now, if I have a point in that first quadrant and uh, I've got positive y values and positive x values as my coordinates, then the sine ratio, if we take a look at the formula there, is going to definitely be positive. The cosine ratio, since we've got a positive x value, will also be positive, and the tangent ratio will be positive since y and x are both positive. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. Now think about some point on a terminal arm in the second quadrant. There, the x values are negative and the y values are positive. So the sine ratio is going to be positive since the y values are positive there. The cosine ratios will be negative since the x values are negative there and the tangent ratios will be negative since y is going to be positive but x will be negative. If we move on to the fourth quadrant, maybe I'll put in those terminal arms just so we drive home the point here. If we have a terminal arm in the third quadrant and we choose some point on the terminal arm to calculate the trig ratios for that angle, we see in the third quadrant that the x and y coordinates are both negative. That means the sine ratio will be negative the cosine ratio will also be negative. But then for the tangent ratio, we have a negative value over a negative value. We'll get a positive. And lastly, if I think about the fourth quadrant here, what we've got are positive x values and negative y values. So our sine ratio will be negative. The cosine ratio will be positive, And then I've got a negative over a positive, I'll have a negative tangent ratio. Now, if you take a look at this chart, it's not too difficult to figure out, but there's a quick mnemonic to help us remember all the information in that chart. So if I look at the first quadrant, I see that all of the trig ratios are positive. In the second quadrant, I see that the sine ratio is positive and the other two are negative. In the third quadrant, I see the tangent ratio is positive and the other two are negative. And in the fourth quadrant, I see the cosine ratio is positive and the other two are negative. So you can see if we start in the fourth quadrant and go around counterclockwise, we spell out the word cast, C-A-S-T. And again, these letters are telling us which of the primary trig ratios are positive in that quadrant, and by default, all the other ones will be negative. Now in the first quadrant, of course, it says all, so all trig ratios are going to be positive for terminal arms in that quadrant. It doesn't seem like that big a deal, but we can make uh, some pretty great use of this, especially since we know about SOHCAHTOA, special triangles, and principal angles. All right, but first, let's just try this out. If we think of the sine of pi by 3, and I just want to know if that's going to be positive or negative, well, pi by 3 is an angle whose terminal arm is in the first quadrant, and all trig ratios are positive in the first quadrant. If I think of 7 pi by 4, that's an angle whose terminal arm is in the fourth quadrant, and in the fourth quadrant, the cosine ratio is positive, according to the cast rule. If I take negative 5 pi by 6, think about that for a moment, that's a number that's 
between negative pi by 2 and negative pi. Its terminal arm is in the third quadrant. The tangent ratio is positive in the third quadrant. And if I look at the last one, an angle of 2.53. That's kind of weird, but it's a perfectly good angle. Every real number is allowed to be an angle. Definitely it's less than pi, but it's bigger than pi by 2. Pi divided by 2 is about 1.5, 1.6. Okay, So it's bigger than pi by 2, but less than pi. That terminal arm is in the second quadrant. And in the second quadrant, the cosine ratio is negative. Okay, Now, we can use, we can do a lot more than just this. We can use, again, the cast rule, principal angle, special triangles, and SOHCAHTOA to calculate trig ratios for angles that don't exist in right angle triangles. So for instance, if I take the tan of 7 pi by 4, if I were to draw that angle in standard position, seven pi by four, well, that's almost two pi. There's my angle there. I'm gonna figure out the principal angle there would be pi by four. And it turns out, and this is a great thing, that the tangent of seven pi by four is going to be equal to plus or minus, we're not sure which at this moment, the tangent of pi by four. Okay, so this pi by 4 here comes from the principal angle. Now, there should be a plus or minus here, and we are going to put down the cast rule here to figure out whether there should be a plus or minus in front. So if I think about the fourth quadrant where our terminal arm is, the tangent ratio in that quadrant is going to be negative. Okay, so 7 pi by 4, when I draw it in standard position, has a terminal arm in the fourth quadrant, and the tangent ratio is negative down there. Now the great thing about tan of pi by 4, I'm going to put an extra equal sign on this line, we know what the tan of pi by 4 is from our special triangles and SOHCAHTOA. It's 1 over root 2. We're putting all these little pieces together to calculate the trig ratios of angles that are related but different from uh, our angles and special triangles. Okay, let's try out another example here. We've got the cosine of negative 5 pi by 6. So negative 5 pi by 6, it's almost negative pi, but not quite. It's got a terminal arm out here. There's my angle, negative 5 pi by 6. My principal angle in here, that's we're going to make use of that for sure. It's pi by 6. And then we'll also use the cast rule. Okay. So the cosine of negative 5 pi by 6, no, pardon me. is equal to plus or minus, we'll figure that out in a moment, the cosine of the principal angle, which is pi by 6. Now, to figure out the plus or minus, we take a look at that quadrant. In quadrant 3, the tangent ratio is positive, and the sine and cosine ratios are negative. We have a negative cosine ratio for that quadrant. Now, the cosine of pi by 6, I know from my special triangle, and from SOHCAHTOA, it's root 3 over 2. And I'm done. As one fan final example, please try for yourself uh, and calculate the sine of 8 pi by 3 using uh, a drawing, first of all, of your angle in standard position, the principal angle, the cast rule, special triangles, and SOHCAHTOA. Thank you very much.